welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be bringing you how to sing week nine. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Week nine, week nine, week nine. This was requested by one of my followers, one of my followers on Instagram and YouTube. The subscribe, you should subscribe too. Yes, uh, good song, songwriter, right here. So for today's video, I had a follower of mine, and they're also an old, old, old friend from my hometown in Corpus Christi, Texas. They messaged me and asked me to do a video on how I learn a song. So he asked for two different things for this video. He wanted to know the process of learning a song, and then how long it might take for a person to feel comfortable performing said song. So I just want to say thank you to my friend and subscriber for suggesting this video. I really want to bring y'all informative and entertaining videos with my best tips and tricks for singing. I've been singing for so long now that I've really experimented with different aspects of vocal performance. So I'm going to show y'all how I learn a song from start to finish. I'm going to break this video down into four steps. Step number one. Take the song you're learning with you everywhere. Listen to it in the morning. Listen to it when you're getting ready. Listen to it when you're driving to work. Listen to it on repeat at the gym. Listen to it when you're making dinner. Listen to that song all the time. Become so familiar with it that if someone were to stop the song, you could finish it from whatever point the song was stopped at. Step number two. Look up the lyrics to the song you're learning and make sure you have the right lyrics. Don't try to just listen from the song or to just take the lyrics from one particular source because a lot of times people can hear different things than what the artist was actually trying to say. Then write those lyrics down with a pen or pencil a few times. Write them down, do not type them. When you physically write something, studies show that, and I'm gonna quote this, apparently sequential hand movements, like those used in handwriting, Activate large regions of the brain responsible for thinking, language, healing, and working memory. Memory is the key word that I took from this quote. If you want to help yourself memorize lyrics to a song, try writing them down a few times. And then write the verses that you're maybe having trouble memorizing, just write those a few extra times. My sister was actually the one who brought this to my attention. My sister Lauren handwrites everything. She refuses to use anything electronic when learning lyrics or when writing a song. So when we were working in Nashville as the duo lighter Ray, every time I we went to a song write, I would have my computer, but Lauren only took her journal and her pen, and she wrote everything down. And I asked her why she didn't want to use my computer or an iPad or her phone, and she told me that by writing in cursive especially, she was engaging a part of her brain to keep her mind active and creative. So by handwriting everything in cursive, she kept her mind engaged and working hard throughout the write. Step number three, practice, practice, practice. Okay, you guys gotta practice your song. You can't just listen to it, you can't just hum it, you actually need to sing it. Three days a week, warm up and run through your song three to five times. How much time you actually have before said performance or said audition will determine the pace at which you learn the song. If you need to speed learn the song, follow step one and two, and you should really know the song within a few hours that day. Then take the next hour to actually sing the song yourself and work through any areas that need a bit of extra tweaking. If you never sing through the song yourself, don't be too surprised if it sounds crappy. If there are certain spots that could showcase the weaker parts of your voice, this is a time to find out where those parts are and then to modify and adjust them to fit your own style. So if you don't have, let's say, a couple of months to prepare a song, you only have like maybe a week, you're not gonna be able to train yourself to fix major problems or major weak spots of your voice. So you're gonna need to 
with just those areas in order to showcase your vocal ability. Step four. This is probably the most important step and it used to be my least favorite step. When I was younger and going through my early days of vocal training, my mother used to force me to stand up with a pretend mic stand and a fake microphone and she used to make me stage the song that I was practicing for. I would be rehearsing my movements for that song in a very dry way. And by dry, I mean there's no audience, there's no real energy, there's no one to kind of connect to when you're standing in a room by yourself or with one other person practicing your movements and where you're going to focus your energy during your performance. But the benefits of practicing in this dry way is that when I stepped on stage, the physical aspect of performing the song didn't feel brand new. I was automatically more confident. I found that I avoided this step so much because it felt so awkward. I mean, when you're young, you already kind of feel awkward because you're trying to figure out who you are as a performer, who you are as a singer. There's a lot of vulnerability in that time that everything feels really awkward. And step number four felt so awkward to me, so dry, so mundane, just not fun. But now I love it because I know the benefits it has. I'm working out the kinks before anyone sees them. I'm not working out the kinks when I step on stage for a performance or audition that I'm already nervous for. You already have so many things going on in your mind and outside of your control that anything that you can do to take away from outside factors, you should do it in your practice time. Doesn't take long, go through your song a handful of times and you will feel remarkably better when you hit the stage. Today, for the bonus tip, take out your iPhone or if you have a camera and try filming one of your practices to review. This can also feel really dry and really awkward, but it is extremely beneficial. Sometimes I think we can hear ourselves differently than let's say the audience or the listener. We hear ourselves as really spot on or we feel really powerful. And then when we listen back, it doesn't sound as good to our ears as it felt coming out, if that makes any sense. And I feel like if we reviewed ourselves more often in the practice area, we could adjust just those things to make the song even better for our audience. This is pretty much our number one priority as a singer or entertainer is to make the performance very pleasant for our audience. We need to make it, you know, a moment for them. So if we're not putting in the work behind closed doors, they're going to feel all of our awkwardness on stage with us. And then everyone's going to feel really awkward and no one's going to have a good time. And the more you practice, the more confident you're going to feel no matter what. That's why people with years of experience feel and look more confident because they've put in a lot of time to get to that confidence level. It doesn't mean that they've stopped working and it doesn't mean that they're not nervous. It just means that they really know their trade. They really know themselves and what they're doing. Now, because I've had to film so many auditions or film things for the web, I find that it has forced me into a film review kind of mode. I kind of found the parts of my voice that I thought were really popular but they actually are quite obnoxious and aggressive. So it's really helped me become a better singer. So I challenge you to do this film review thing as well. So thanks once again to my friend and subscriber for suggesting this video. This is a really fun one for me to film because it kind of takes me back to my roots. And even though I wrote down all of the steps and things that I do when I'm learning a song, it was kind of cool to know that I do those habitually. I just showed how much work I put in without even realizing. I put a lot of work into every song that I learned so that I can make it very enjoyable for the listener. I want it to look easy for y'all. I want y'all to enjoy it and I want to enjoy it because if I'm not enjoying it, ain't nobody gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna look like I'm hurting. I'm gonna look sad. So I want to take away all of those negative adjectives, put my best foot forward because that's my job as a singer and entertainer. Comment down below and just say, hey, I want to know that you are here. Make sure to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to turn on that notification bell to always so that you're notified when a new video is up. I'm going to put my website over chill so you can come get to know me, listen to my album Dreamers, see what I'm up to. Basically all of my stuff is connected in one hub and that is chinataylor.com. I have the whole how to sing series on there. I have all the buttons for you to connect with me for my social media and also I have a Christmas album coming out. Yay! It's coming! It will be available for y'all in November for 
y'all to stream or for y'all to buy it please buy it because people be ripping off people for streaming you know what i'm saying but if y'all are spotify people that's okay go stream it just like put it on repeat put my songs on repeat you know what i'm saying help a sister out you know okay i need y'all to buy some music i need your 9.99 sister child needs it because to get 24 nuggets from mcdonald's is 9.99 have a great day come say hi okay bye